Hey guys, Idre here, and I'm excited to make this video, even though it's like, I've talked about it before, but I've never gone this in depth. Um, this video is why Depeche Mode is my favorite band. Um, I've brought this up in my Violator review, and this kind of when the band comes up in discussion, but... You know, I've really wanted to make this video because I never thought I've never gone in depth so much to uh, why what it is about them that makes me like them so much. So I'm gonna start off by talking about uh, my first experience with the music and how it kind of turned me on to the whole music world and the fan and like you know becoming a fan and never had that before. So the first, so this story pretty much is I remember in fifth grade being driven to school and um, hearing. My sibling playing Enjoy the Silence. And at the time, it was the most dark thing I'd ever heard. But, you know, it stuck out to me as unique. I have been listening to them ever since. And um, what makes me happy about that is that they have such a consistent discography, in my opinion, that I could always listen to new Depeche Mode. If I've listened to one album too much, I know there's like 10 to 13 other ones that I could be listening to that are just as good better and you know they're pretty consistent and honestly a lot of that has to do with the fact that they have a strong lineup you know now dave the vocalist brings so much to the table when he especially when he's teaming up with martin gore the main uh songwriter but also vocalist like when their voices go together and they have the best some of the best harmonies and it, in a the mixture of the more baritone and the more angelic voices definitely give them that unique sound and a lot of that has to do with the strong lineup you know they all kind of have their roles but they're willing but they're uh, able to explore if they need but dave has always brought the vocals mainly martin has been the principal songwriter ever since their second album onwards has always provided backing vocals and does sing certain songs which make which give it a good um blend you know so it doesn't get stale and um andy has always kind of his role is always disputed but he's definitely one of the synth players and and he uses the um he in the early days i remember he he said he said that he played the more bass lines he did a lot of the managing now he's just kind of up there on he's, he's still contributing and it's also worth mentioning alan who was with the band for a good amount of time and um, provided much to the production. And Vince, who was the first songwriter, and obviously their touring members, Peter Gardino and Christian Eigner. And um, the reason I bring up this lineup is because, again, yeah, there's been some members come and go, but they've been able to stick together. The core three have stuck together through good times, bad times, and have come back to create great music. And you see, their unique and evolving sound it's probably one of the probably the main reason why I think they're so consistent. You know, they started off very synth based with a lot of uh, very more uh, primitive, very craft work sounding uh, synth pop, but with a lot more elements of more modern pop and uh, some rock and some uh, even like just making it making what craft work was doing, but more suitable for a public audience, but while keeping that vibe and then they evolved into a more keeping a synth pop in but taking more inspiration from other genres you know you on uh on black celebration you had a lot of gothic atmospheres on music for the masses you had a lot more stadium rock and stuff like that and all that coming together led to the 90s which was a very alternative based era for depeche mode songs of faith and devotion may just be their heaviest and Ultra is one of my personal favorites, has a good blend of very soft, very minimalist, you know, electronic atmospheric music at the end, but with a more alternative rock in the beginning. And ever since then, they've been willing to explore album to album, how they're feeling, making statements on society, changing uh, up their music to whatever they feel fits the moment. You know, they've been able to do this for such a long time that it's uh, it's so impressive to me that every single album has something to give. Not many artists that I like, even Green Day, which I am very fond of, they have just albums that I can't get into. Like their last one. You know that? And, um, you know, I guess the one final point I want to make for this quick video is Depeche Mode Live is so good. The power they bring, the energy they have, considering how old they are, it, it's, it still remains to me, it still remains impressive to me, 
no matter how many times, um, how many angles I look at it. You know, and in the end, why Depeche Mode is my favorite band, I, I wrote this little summary. You know, they've never disappointed me. From their debut in 1981 all the way to now with Spirit, in my opinion, they haven't had a bad album. I always come back to them, and they always blow me away live as well. Every album is unique in its own right and brings something new to the table. They always experiment and change their sound, which I love, but keep their electronic Depeche Mode style roots. And all of the members seem to get better with age, and they always remain relevant. You know, I've tried my best to make a playlist, and it's grown to be hundreds of songs long. I, I literally can't stop. There's too many good Depeche Mode songs. You know, it's just, at the end at the end of the day, I love Depeche Mode's music, style, relevance, lyrics, attitude, role in music, and the endless amounts of emotions I get and excitement when I hear a new piece of theirs or a piece that I haven't heard before. And uh, I love the contributions from Dave, Martin, Andy, Alan, Vince, Peter, and Christian. And all the, I just, I just love this band and all of its transformations, no matter what. You know, I know that I'm very biased, but I think with all these points, you know, it will open the door to people that may not have given them a chance. But I just really wanted to get this off my chest.